Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into exciting world of Node RAID, where we will be exploring how to seamlessly store form data in multiple databases. So, in this video, we will walk through a Node RAID flow designed into handle HTTP request, process form data, and store it into MongoDB and MySQL databases. But first, let's understand why this is a such a powerful tool. Node RAID is a visual programming tool that allows developers to wire together devices, APIs, and online services in new and exciting way. Imagine you are building a web application where users submit their information with Node RAID. You can effortlessly store this data in multiple databases simultaneously, ensuring redundancy and flexibility. Let's take a look at the Node RAID flow diagram. We have several nodes working together to achieve our goal. The HTTP input node. First, we have HTTP input nodes. These nodes act as an entry point for HTTP request, listening for both GET and POST. Request has specific endpoints, slash add data and slash Excel POST. You can name the endpoint as required by you. Next, coming to the function nodes. We have function node responsible for preparing the data received from the HTTP request. The prepare MongoDB data function node construct an object containing the fields ID, name, age, and contact ready to insert it into MongoDB database. Similarly, the prepare MySQL data function node construct an array from the same fields and insert into the MySQL database. Now let's move on to the database nodes. We have nodes representing both MongoDB and MySQL database. The MongoDB database node inserts the prepared data into user info collection within demo database. Similarly, the MySQL node inserts the data into student table within the student database. Template nodes. To interact with our flow, we have included template nodes that generate dynamic JavaScript and HTML code. The JavaScript code sets up an AJAX request for asynchronous form submission. While the HTML code creates a form input fields for ID, name, age and contact. Now HTTP response node. Lastly, we have HTTP response node which sends a response back to the client confirming the success of operation. Now, let's see the flow in action. We will submit a form with sample data and witness how it stored in both MongoDB and MySQL database. You can see the both the databases, MySQL and MongoDB, how the data has been inserted. So let's see now real-time scenario. The practical use case. Imagine you are running an e-commerce platform with Node RAID. You can seamlessly store customer information in both MongoDB and MySQL databases. This redundancy ensures that even if one database fails, your valuable customer data remains intact, providing an interpreted service to the customer. So let's see the recap of key points. Today we explored how Node RAID empowers developer to store form data in multiple databases effortlessly. Encouragement to experiment. I encourage you to experiment with Node RAID and discover endless possibilities it offers for simplifying complex tasks. Call to actions. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.